Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about very important Java concept. What is the serialization in Java? Serialization is a kind of mechanism that makes a class or a bean persistence have its by having its properties or fields and state information saved and restored to and from storage. To simply say, serialization is a, is a process to store your object in a flat file or database or even you can send across the network. That's what the serialization means. That means once your, once your object goes out of your JVM, it might lose its state. Okay, so you create an uh, employee object, employee has name and department, so you are creating a new of employee and you are setting these values. The moment it goes out of JVM, it might lose its state. So serialization is one of the process to store those states. Say employee name is John and the employee department is say civil. So in order to store this data, you need to have serialization process. How to make a class of or being serializable by implementing either serializable interface or the externalizable interface as long as one class in a class in the inheritance hierarchy implement serializable that class is serializable that's what this is how you can implement the serialization process so if you it's a marker interface you don't have to have any methods it does not force any methods to be implemented in your class this is how you can do the serialization and I just want to give an example so this is how you can serialize your state for example I have an employee employee there are three fields employee and I'm storing the state okay so this is how I can serialize and deserialize so I'm storing into a file I'm going to show the file so this file this is nothing but a file that has the state of an object please remember the state of an object is stored in the file that's where serialized process comes into picture so this is the file that has the state of an object so outside the JVM you are able to store the state of an object state of an object means you created a new employee okay new employee and you are storing some data and you are storing that in a file or database. How many methods in the externalizable interface? There are two methods in the externalizable interface. You have to implement these two methods in order to make your class externalizable. These are the two methods you will have in your externalizable. This is also similar to serializable. So if you implement externalizable, you have you will you must overwrite these two methods. Why do we need this? What is the difference between serializable and externalizable? When you use serializable interface, your class is serialized automatically. Okay, but you can but you can override write object, read object, two methods to control more complex object serialization process. When you use externalizable, you have complete control over the class your class serialization process. So in this method using these methods you will have a complete control over your, your serialization process but there is limited the control is limited in the serializable interface so if you want to have if you want to involve your code in the serialization process use externalizable otherwise you can go with default serialization process hope this video is useful for your java interview preparation thank you and all the best for your interview thank you